Hey everybody, it's Kevin Flying Spark Productions here for the Pop Goes the Weasel or the Mob of the Dead Easter Egg Guide. We've been working on this and we finally got it done, so let's start with off with the prerequisites, which are player must have the plane built. So you gotta build the plane and come back. And then you can start this up. And there are about five steps. Now people say there's like twelve, but if you really count um, getting all the skulls as one step and uh, a couple other things as one step. It's one, just one overall process. It only makes five uh, steps. And it's really not that hard. You can probably do it within a round and then do the rest as you go on. But um, it gets a little bit more difficult, but it's not it's not really that hard. Uh, another prerequisite you're going to need is the Hell's Retriever. And I'm not going to show you how to get those because I'm sure if you're doing the Easter egg, you already have the Hell's Retriever. And um, anything can be done before... You do three cycles. You can get the skulls before you go back three times, and you can uh, move the spoon and put it in the uh, bathtub before you do the cycle three times. Everything else, though, you're going to have to take the plane three times and then uh, continue on. So, Oh, and this also must be done in original mode, not easy, because if it's easy, it doesn't do anything. All right, here we go. The first uh, skull is right outside the spawn room. Throw your hose tree right at it. And that's the simplest one. We're going to do these in the easiest order from going from the spawn. Next one's in the warden's office. And right next to Speed Cola, look out this window. There's a little... Those... T or, what are those things called? Well, okay, you saw what it was. I don't know what it's called. I can't... Telephone line, that's what it was. And throw the hose tree of red. Um, the next one is... Right through the dock area. And there's three posts. Throw your hose tree of red at the third one. There's that skull. This one sucks. You gotta go on the gondola and throw it right at the light post. Right there. Throw it. Got it. Simple. It's that easy. And when you hear the laugh of the... Like the zombie laugh, that means you got all the skulls. Next part's pretty simple. This is where you're gonna get the spoon. And you gotta throw them to the poster, like Shawshank Redemption. You know, because they had Hell's Retrievers and Shawshank Redemption. And you have to go into afterlife once I do it. So there's a lot of zombies for this part, but I figured why not. Go ahead and down yourself for afterlife it. That's all I have to say. And then you're going to go through this wall, and there's this little spoon here. It's a little difficult to get, but you're going to shock it until it goes away. And there you go. And then you're going to go back in the cafeteria and throw a Hell's Retriever at it. Scary. Now I gotta go up to the bathtubs filled with blood and press square. And you're gonna see little spoons stirring the blood deliciously. And then a blunder gat should pop up in the warden's office. And anyone can take it, it doesn't really matter. You can have like two, yeah, see, so we have two at the same time, it's pretty badass. Next part involves numbers, you're gonna have to type in these codes. 101, 386, 872, and 481. And then Stanley Ferguson is going to tell you a story. My name is Stanley Ferguson. I was a guard at Alcatraz from 1933 to 1942. Today, I'm going to give you some insight into one of the more interesting tales from the prison's history. Over the decades, Alcatraz has seen more than its fair share of daring escape attempts. However, few were as audacious as the one undertaken by four inmates on New Year's Eve, 1933. Thought to be the brainchild of an inmate by the name of Albert Arlington, the outrageous scheme was as unlikely as its mastermind. Now you have to pick up the headphone drops. It's believed that Arlington, aka the Weasel, somehow convinced three other inmates that he had devised a foolproof plan to escape the rock. It was a plan that would see them literally taking to the skies on a makeshift aircraft of Arlington's own design. Just how the Weasel managed to convince these hardened criminals that such a plan was even possible remains a mystery to this day. What is known is that no such plane was ever built. Instead, the group's plans for freedom soon descended into bitter argument and infighting. falling apart. Anger and 
frustration would ultimately oh. lead to a brutal altercation between the misguided Arlington and his former co-conspirators. Oh. Armed only with makeshift weapons, Finn O'Leary, Sal DeLuca, and Billy Hansen lured the unsuspecting Arlington to the roof, where they intended to exact a bloody and violent revenge. And so it was here, beneath the dark and stormy winter skies, that the hapless Arlington met his grisly end, bleeding to death on the cold concrete roof. For their participation in the murder, the three collaborators were sent to death by electric chair. Justice came swiftly. On the morning of January 19, 1934, the execution order was carried out. Hopefully you have the plan rebuilt. Now you're gonna put every player has to go down into afterlife, and you can you have unlimited afterlife at this point. And then you're gonna go to the plane and board it. And everyone will be teleported to the plane, no matter where they are on the map. And there's a glitch; you can't actually get stuck in afterlife if it doesn't work. But and then you're gonna go to the bridge. You can either kill the weasel, or the weasel can kill everyone else, and you're going to see the ending. And I hope you guys enjoy it. I'm Kevin Flying Strong Productions. Thanks for watching this Easter egg guide, and like, comment, subscribe. Look who's pelling around with the weasel. <laughs>